Hey, Kevin, what are you playing with? This is Gino Project. I've had a lot of questions lately about how the heck do you make them spin like that? What do you do with the bearings? You know, how do you hide it all inside there? So I thought, come on in, let me show you. Will this one spin in the wind all by itself? Yeah, this one spins in the wind. It takes, you know, two, three mile an hour, and then it'll sit there and start to play a little bit. So, really, really light, really good bearings in the bottom. And I'll show you a trick. So this is just like the dish that's under genome out there in the, in the driveway. And to tell you the truth, it's just a caro dish. You know, it's off of a farm implement. You know, they go in the ground that way and turn up the dirt when you drag it behind the drag it behind the tractor. I filled in the square hole that's in there with a piece of stock and just cut my little round hole so the shaft for the sculpture can go in. This one was a little too worn out. You know, normally they're much bigger in diameter, but this one was worn down so far that I didn't have enough room inside to be able to put my mount and the two bearings. It would hit the ground. So I added this little lift kit, if you will, under it. It's just a piece of half-inch square that I bent in my Chinese pipe bender over there. Just you know, bent it around in a circle, cut it, fit it, shape it, you know, weld it, grind it. There we go. Pick it up just a half-inch that I needed. So what happens inside is, and yeah, all this has to be cleaned up again. It's been sitting outside, it got rained on, so I'll take it to the sandblaster, we'll sandblast the heck out of it, and I'll start for the next sculpture. So all I did inside was actually just take a piece of uh, C-channel, you know, something with enough support to hold up whatever sculpture I'm going to put up, and it just gets welded inside, lined up with the hole, and then these are the bearings that I used little uh, flanges with the bearings in the middle with a nice little grease fitting so you can come back later and you know give it a shot of grease you know every six months every year whatever just to keep things spinning I uh, I went with these because of the size of the hole because I wanted a three-quarter inch shaft coming up out of this to go into the sculpture itself and that's the size here I used two of them because these are made to mount sideways, so the load is, is on the bearing this way. When you mount them vertically, or you know, mount them flat and put a load on it this way, there's actually a little bit of free play in there, where you know, a little bit of wobble in the bearing itself. And you know, an eighth of an inch wobble here will turn into you know, six, eight inches at the top of the sculpture, and you get the whole sculpture that sits there and does this back and forth. So what I found was, use two of them. So when you mount the two of them, the two bearings in there, with your shaft going all the way down through both of them, they cancel one another out as far as any little run out, any little slot that may be in them. And they help support one another. So now it spins freely, but it spins without any side to side wobble in there, in, in the bearing itself. I got these bearings at a company here in town called uh, Motion Industries. You know, check in your phone book or, or on the internet for, for wherever you are and just look for a bearing supplier, you know, industrial bearings. You can find these at, um, at places like Granger. Uh, you can find them online. You know, they're, you just got to know what to look for. About how much per, per bearing? Oh, these were, I think these were about $35 a piece. You know, but... Once you put them in, you're good. I mean, the, the bearings are rated to a much higher load than anything I would put on it to, that I would want to spin. Uh, Three-quarter inch, two-bolt flange bearings. At least that's what these are called, according to that company. But that gives you an idea of what to look for. So, now that you have your bearing, <laughs> get out to your shop and get to work. And don't forget to send pictures. I'll see you next time.